In this video, I want to talk a bit about the Pro Tools system as a whole. Pro Tools has gone through a lot of changes over the years with various different versions and various different hardware requirements. But now Pro Tools has three basic versions and none of them require specific hardware to run. You have Pro Tools first, which is a free version of Pro Tools with limited features. So this is a good version to check out if you just want to do some casual recording and editing here and there or you want to demo Pro Tools for a bit just to get a lay of the land. However, several of the features, plugins, and instruments that I demonstrate in this course will not be in the free version. However, almost all of the features that I cover in this course are included in both the standard and ultimate versions. The main difference between Pro Tools and Pro Tools Ultimate is that the Ultimate version supports more simultaneous inputs and tracks. Pro Tools Ultimate also supports surround sound mixing, which the standard version does not. And when it comes to working with video, Pro Tools Ultimate supports multiple video tracks, whereas Pro Tools only supports one. Pro Tools Ultimate also supports a few extra advanced video editing features, which we're not going to use in this course anyway. Now, your Pro Tools system is not just the software itself. This also includes what hardware you choose to work with. Avid has a wide range of various different audio interfaces that you can use, some that have less inputs and outputs and are cheaper and meant more for home and project studios. Others have more inputs and outputs and are much more expensive and are meant for professional studios. However, I just want to make it very clear that Pro Tools does not require a specific audio interface or specific hardware to run. You can use just about any third-party USB or Thunderbolt interface with Pro Tools. Your audio interface serves as your input and output device to communicate with Pro Tools. So any microphones or DI instruments like guitars, basses, and keyboards, these are all going to be input devices. You plug these into the inputs of your audio interface to record them. Things like studio monitors and headphones, these are your output devices. If you're interested in mixing control surfaces, Avid has a wide range of these available as well. Everything from iPad apps like Avid Control, where you can control the mixer from your iPad, to small format tabletop control surfaces like the Avid Dock, Avid S1, and Artist Mix Series, to larger format mixers like the S3, the S4, and the S6. A control surface is not necessary to run Pro Tools. However, it is an option if you want more tactile control over your mixes. So that's the Pro Tools system in a nutshell. In the next video, I'll show you how to install, license, and set up Pro Tools for the first time.